Before we start today's video, you must do your own due diligence, take it all as entertainment, and remember, I am not a financial advisor. Yeah, coincidence. Yeah, coincidence. Yeah, coincidence. Something that happens by chance, I think not. What's the crack everyone? Welcome back to Buy Wholesale. I hope of course you are all well. Today's video guys is an update on a video that we covered last week and the stock is Workhorse, ticker symbol WKHS. Um, it's a stock that we covered last week um, and for the first time we looked into the stock as, as itself. Would it be worthwhile investing in for the fundamentals of the company for the long term? If you haven't watched that video, you can, you can check it out here. I'll share the link. But ultimately the conclusion was for me that it's not a good stock guys it, there's a lot of issues wrong with it um, but i did get some comments and they gave me a bit of an update on things that perhaps i overlooked um, and i'll just you know address these things now so part of the feedback that i got back was that the contract was awarded based on the fact that the company had to be green electric future forward thinking and apparently this was awarded to a company that's not fully there yet now i don't see anything that's too firm on that but apparently that's what people are saying that the workhorse are going to fight this deal because it's not fair um it was a backhander and all this here and yes i believe that this definitely happens in the stock market the more and more you get into these things there it can really unravel there's a lot of backhanders and deals done and handshakes and that's just the way things are especially with government dealings um and, and, and i know a lot about that within northern ireland some of the dodgy deals that that our country has done which is info but it does happen but would i change and invest in workhorse based on this rumor and innuendo now i don't deal in rumor and innuendo i need hard cold facts i wouldn't I, and the cold hard facts are workhorse are in a terrible position and they have not got that contract look at this article I'll just see robbins llp announced that workhorse group is being sued for misleading shareholders and if you scroll down guys the company was merely hoping that usps was going to select an electric vehicle as its next generation delivery vehicle and had no assurances or indication from usps that this was the case and the company had concealed the fact that as revealed by the postmaster general in explaining the ultimate decision not to select an electric vehicle electrifying the usps fleet would be impractical and extremely expensive. So there you go, guys. So people that are saying that they're fighting it because it should have been electric, there is an article there saying the opposite. So hopefully I'll put that to bed. I can't see Workhorse getting that overturned, especially if some miracle it was, it certainly wouldn't be anytime soon. You're talking lawsuits, court dealings, you could talk at least a year. Anyone that's invested in HCMC, for example, sample the Healthier Choices Management one, that's a lawsuit and that's going to drag out for a long time. These things do not get overturned quickly so that's that address the other thing that someone brought to my attention was the whole drone they have a pattern for the drone now, that was something that i did touch on in the video about the drone service um, and this pattern isn't anything special guys there is tens of thousands of patterns out there um, and yes they might have a wee slight niche that's something a bit different but trust me guys amazon for example use drones they are not paying workhorse any money for their drone patterns so Yes, get caught up in the whole workhorse thing as much as you want. People may not like what I'm saying, but the facts are what the facts are, guys. This isn't a great stock for the long term. However, in my previous video, we talked about why I was investing and it was based on the short squeeze and the high short interest. Uh, but before we get into all this, guys, can you please like, please subscribe, help me grow the channel. I really do appreciate everyone helping me out. It really does mean a lot to me. And before we get into it, look at the description down below. You'll get discount codes. If you're thinking about setting up your first portfolio, free trade, you get free shares, guys, for signing up up to £200. Get diversity. Never have one platform. Don't even have two or three. Have as many as possible because you only have so much insurance and it spreads the risk across any of these ones going bust for example you don't want all your money tied up so i definitely recommend getting other brokers and there's two down there in colmax pro which is great for day trading guys definitely recommend that and free trade and also there's other stuff down there crypto 10 percent off currencies and all this kind of stuff you can go and check all that out but yeah. okay guys so there's a lot of talk about stocks getting shorted this is a sort of a revolution that's happening right now um over the last sort of six months we've seen it with amc we've seen it with GameStop, and we're not going to talk about too much about them but most of you maybe know but for anybody that doesn't know what this all is about the simplest way that i can put it guys is Hedge funds are buying shares to sell at a price to you, I, whoever. And the idea is that they will be able to buy them shares back cheaper and they will get the difference. Say example is they buy a share and they sell it to you for 100 pounds or dollars or whatever. 
and that hundred dollars then they will short that stock on the hope that it goes down say it goes down to 75 dollars a share then they will then cover that spread so they will then buy that stock so what it means is they had it at 100 sold it to you and they're buying it back for 70 that gets them out of their position their option or whatever you want to call it that is them out of it and they are cashing out on the difference so they have made 25 dollars in that scenario but what is the short squeeze well the short squeeze is the opposite of that so if they have that hundred dollars they're doing all the same things that they're doing they're selling it to you for 100 but you are holding it diamond hands on it their contracts their options are expiring and if they don't get where they thought they were gonna go 100 down to 75 or whatever it may be then they have to buy the stock worst case scenario for the hedge funds is that if they buy it hoping that it's going to fall but actually that hundred dollars goes up to 125 150 dollars then they're in a place where they have to go right do i cover my position do i buy this stock now before the gaping gets worse before this stock rises or do I just hope and pray that I don't get called out on it? And what happens is then you go up and up and up. And then if it goes to say 150, they're down 50. They're then taking a $50 gaping to buy the shares, to close out, to get rid of all the pain and misery. They buy it. And then when they buy it, then that leaves less shares to be able to trade it. That thus driving the share price up. So it's, it is pretty complicated, but it's quite straightforward. If you just think about that, they are betting that the stock's going to go down. If it doesn't go down and goes up, then they have to cover that position. And if they cover that position, they're taking the shares off the table, means less shares, means more value in the stock. They own the price and it goes up. And the thing is, as this goes up, more and more hedge funds will go, oh, look at that price. It's that I'm buying it, I'm shorting it. And then that's when we come in with the diamond hands, Yep, all that stuff guys will hold on tight that's all you have to do is hold these stocks and let the hedge funds make the decisions when they're buying when they're selling what they're going to do we just hold and we ride it out and eventually it just goes up and up and up and that's just the easiest way that i can explain it guys but it is quite complicated there's a wee bit more to it than that but that is at a high level review and so last week i told you the workhorse was one of the most heavily shorted stocks on the market today so that makes you think well it's a prime candidate for short squeeze especially when you consider that this has only really become a bit of a short squeeze play and you have different expiry dates for options so we've seen a pullback recently guys let's have a look at the charts you can see here guys it was going up it's going well the rsis macd's everything was looking good and then however it sort of started to change started going down on the 9th which was wednesday guys it started going down down and then it really got tanked hard on the 10th went down but it's kind of just settling at this stage guys kind of building in and now we're looking like the macd everything took a good pounding but it looks like today guys that things are changing today it looks like the stock's going to go up and we'll just have to see what way it goes but the charts are Yes, they're good to know about a good support level, but they're kind of irrelevant if you're rolling the dice on the time and the market holding, the short squeeze, all of that, because this could just pop at any moment. You have to look at the options, you have to look at when these things are expiring and just hoping that people hold it and diamond hand it. Now, here's an article that came out yesterday, guys, I just want to bring up as well. Workhorse emerging short squeeze battleground, exit opportunity for fundamental driven investors. Workhorse is the highest float shorted, making the stock an attractive opportunity for the short squeeze, as we talked about. The stock ranked four in terms of the mentions in Reddit last week, which indicates the possibility of a massive short squeeze. The fundamental value of the company hardly supports the current valuations. The balance sheet is not strong enough to meet the near to medium term liquidity needs. Profitability seems to be years away. I think I've said all of that there, guys, in my last video. I've repeated it already, and now this is saying it. You can see here, guys, the volume changes is massive, guys. Really, really high. It has dipped, but it's bouncing back up. Be interesting to see what comes this week you can see here the graph i brought this up in the last video you can see here the short interest guys is 40 percent really really high and it's a cult stock and what that is described as, as a cult stock describes a stock that has a sizable investor following despite the company lacking when it comes to its underlying fundamentals cult stock promised that they will be the next big company after they make a new discovery or get a large contract they have an intense fan base that is excited by the uniqueness of the company and its product and its belief in the long-term success however most but not all call stocks do not provide investors with anything other than a story typically generating very little if any revenue of profits that's the truth guys and just in conclusion guys i think it sums it up perfectly considering the highest float shorted in workhorse and the growing popularity of short squeeze the company becomes the most attractive target offering tremendous short-term return potentials to redditors with that said, the company does not offer high probability of promising returns for the long-term investors. 
Therefore, the ongoing short squeeze offers an excellent opportunity for fundamentally driven investors to exit their position and wait for a better entry point to ensure favorable risk reward metrics. I would not provide a bearish rating to the stock as short sellers are at significantly high risk due to the stock's short squeeze vulnerability, given that it has a large floated share. But I will bring one more thing to your attention. I have seen other people, now there's nothing concrete and there never will be. It is very much rumors. And you know, I don't really like to deal with rumors, but this is one rumor that I kind of go, mm, I need to take a wee bit of listening to this and maybe just increase your risk tolerance because what people are saying is that this is actually all a play to get people away from AMC and GameStop. That's what's really tanking these guys hard. The hedge funds are getting tanked so hard, they're putting decoys. And that's effectively what people are saying. The workhorse, the blackberries, these other stocks are supposedly decoys. The reason they're highly shorted is all a game to get people thinking these are the next big stocks. So they load up and then the hedge funds pull out and then they win on it. They got their put options and it goes crazy. Look guys, I don't know too much about that. All I'm saying is just be wary if that's possibly the case. And I've sort of stripped out a wee bit of the profits and a wee bit of the money out. I have about $600 left in workhorse and I'm okay with that level. If I can get a significant rise this week, I will be trimming that down. I don't think I want any more than about $500 in on this dream at the moment just because of that potential. And I'm moving it into AMC. I'm liking these plays, guys, but I'd rather maybe just go with the AMC dream. So just be wary of that. We will look for other opportunities and I'll keep you posted on Workhorse because I'm still in. We've got to keep playing it. Get me on the Instagram, BHS, DMV. I'll keep you up to date on my trade. That's the, live, that's the best way to get everything live. Um, so yeah, get me on that. Please like, please subscribe, grow on this channel. That is the video. I will catch you tomorrow, guys. Yeah, Enjoy the rest of your day and happy trading and safe trading. Yeah, coincidence. Yeah, coincidence. Something that happens by chance, I think not.